Yo guys, welcome to the video. This is Josh or Milky, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the day three update for the build. I've made quite a few upgrades. The build is looking really powerful now, and we'll go into the game and look at exactly what has been going on. The biggest thing I have purchased is something that you might want to look again your hands on if you can afford it. It's some star shooting legendary hero memories. These give you 30, uh, between 24 and 32 dexterity per gem that you have equipped. Uh, you have to have the same one. So three of these. Uh, with the way that I have them is something like 275 dexterity, the way, 276, sorry, the way that I have it set up. I have this in a legendary vengeance diary. This would be better being something else, but the blue ones with the mods that I want are very expensive. So uh, That's what I've got. You can also get one that provides you with four slots. That's this one right here. You can provide up to four. You can even go up to five if you're really lucky. So this could end up giving you 750 plus dexterity. So get it. Obviously, they're very expensive, but getting your hands on one of these would be a big thing. And of course, these these are kind of investments. These are you're gonna probably play these on a lot of your characters, so don't be too shy of buying these. They'll probably also retain their value because people are always going to want these. So if you do have the money and you want to use one, don't feel too shy about getting it. It'll be very good. Now coming to the gear, the big changes would be for the gloves. I, I went with further gloves. These, this is eventually what I'm going to want. If I do end up going evasion stacker, so I just thought I might as well craft them now. I've got some high levels of gear evasion, uh, some erosion resistance, further, and dex. So they're very nice. The belt, we got our infinity finally. We have 21 all res, 55 dex, another tenacity blessing, and falling leaves. Falling leaves is phenomenal for this build. It gives like uh, upwards of 50% more damage really strong infinity if you can get your hands on that and then i also had to grab another minus five skill cost ring and the reason for that is the auras i changed around the auras because i bought a restrain this cost me 70 flame elementium so don't change to this this is contingent on you having a restrain and also the second ring enchant uh, but it allows me to fit in summon thunder spirit fearless and thunder imbue which is a huge increase in power you get so much more attack speed the thunder spirit also scales with your dexterity like the damage that it does so that's nice do a bit more damage from that i ended up moving my fixate from cast on crit to a death pact what death pact does is it makes it so you cast the skill when you hit an elite so this will be triggered where basically when and where it's needed uh, and this allows me to put blizzard on the cast on crit because blizzard actually reduces the enemy's cold and lightning resistance by 15 percent when it hits them so big upgrades in terms of the auras and the items but do not be worried if you couldn't catch all that because we do now have access to the builder the builder is working i can share i will put both links to these in the description this is the day one update this is the day three update they will be linked down below so you can easily go through and follow you this this has great functionality you can see all the trees uh, you can't see the order i put them in unfortunately it doesn't have that functionality but you can see everything that i've gone for uh, as well as the passives the packs this is kind of whatever uh, and then hero memories of course the, the, the hero memories for this they didn't really put anything in i put kind of like this is best in slot this is what you want to get if you're using a blue hero memory um, and that's additional damage with each strike for every one stack of stalk you have so you think when you have six uh, then that's 30 percent additional damage and then you can also get hero relics that increase the effect of your memories so you can get up to like 45 percent additional damage per memory so you can get three memories you can end up getting almost more than double damage by having very well crafted memories so these are going to be very powerful and something we need to look out for in the future of course we are going deck stacking right now but these are going to be really uh, interesting moving forward uh, and then one thing i want to come into the the guide to talk about a lot of people asking me uh, how i get the 100 percent conversion they don't have it and that's because this guide guys is set up for thunder slash this is entirely based on you playing thunder slash this wasn't designed for you to switch to berserking blade i know that i did it um, and maybe I'll come back and amend this for that, but this one was specifically designed for a player to use Thunder Slash. But it's very simple. If you wish to get 100% conversion, you're going to come into the Blade Runner tree, which is the second tree. You're going to drop the attack speed nodes and the movement speed nodes. Uh, you, you drop the three movement speeds and one attack speed, and you can grab the conversion, which is right above on the level 15 row. It's right here. That's going to give you 100% conversion. And you can instantly start converting your Berserking Blade to Lightning Damage, which means it's going to scale with Conductive, it's going to scale with Paralyze because you're only doing Lightning Damage. It's going to be really strong. So that's the first thing. That's when you swap to Berserking Blade, but when do you swap to Deck Stacking? There's no right answer. Uh, you're going to unlock Crafting around Time Mark 3, and at that point, you want to start looking for Swords. And then you want to craft them. So the chain of operations is get to Time Mark 3 and unlock Crafting, look for a Sword Base, Throw all your embers at a sword until you craft it. Maybe on the auction house there will be some cheap now. You can kind of filter for decent swords. 
because a lot of people might be getting done with their intermediate gear and just flogging it. I know that I did that with mine. I ended up selling uh, my two old swords for some FEs. Uh, maybe that's happening. You could look on the auction house. And then you just start going through, looking at all your gear, which is your worst piece, craft it up, and do that one by one. And, and you'll have a character that looks very much like my day one character. If you do this, just do one item at a time, starting with swords. So that's build it. These will be in the description. I hope this video uh, helps. And yeah, yeah, this builder is going to be really interesting when it gets more functionality. Of course, it's really nice right now for me to be able to share builds. Uh, but yeah, if you guys fill these in and, and share them with your friends, it's, it's a really cool way to actually be able to share the builds. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.